The locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultist had been keeping imprisoned here, I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able to avoid casualties in the process. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. He could help us fix the Aurora and cross the bridge. Now seems to be a good time to pay him a visit. Is that a save? Turn off the game. Turn off the controller. Basically, like, take the disc out. Basically, we start everything. Took the scan off of my controller, but that obviously didn't help, so. That's gonna take forever to load. Yoohoo!
sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. Mm -hmm. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? Eh, probably a second. But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. <laughs> Here, though, we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. Don't I get some binoculars? The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. <laughs> I shrimps. wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? Ha 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 ha. Well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably right. forget about your journal. I just did. Oh. The hell is that? What you guys eating over here? all these noises. Like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. 
Wait, where's the gun part? Okay, there it is. Find a workbench to install it. For my pistol? over here. Grab the hatchet. Won't do any good. What the heck? I don't think it'll do any good. Must be wasting bullets. He was sleeping. I seen a um, I seen a damn spider today. It looks like a crab. It had the body of a spider, but freaking legs of a crab. Very weird. Oh, ew! Get the hell away! I look, I just, I just, I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. Look, if you're gonna frickin' Shh. You better run. Ew, ew, ew! Bitch.
like that. Stop it. I need a bullets now because of you. Why is it like floating eyeballs? Whatever. part of the plane. There's nothing in the suitcase. <laughs> what the heck is going on? This game wasn't this glitchy when I first, first played it. something on that oh no <laughs> oh come on I can't jump on the little icebergs how do I get over there then Me little bastard. <laughs> yeah, there's a boat. here. the bug. Squash your little baby, what you gonna do? You better 
cry. <coughs> oh, it's just a flag. Oh no, turn it off. Turn it off. Gosh, it's raining in the snow. after me. You better stay over there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Missile launcher? <sighs> Die, spiders. you do it. Oh my god, it's after me! <laughs> I heard it. 
heard it stomping around. Oh, you little nasty little. Look, I'm, I'm out of here. You can have your island back. Okay. Just leave me alone. Shotgun. Rest to change time of day and replenish your health. someone's random bed. Gotcha. Calling for backup now, will you? Oh, 
I see some more. Hang on. I'm out. Here, <laughs> oh. yeah, get on top of there. Okay, I guess not. Oh my gosh! Get in there! Is there like a quick turn? that time. pistol. Get my can back. like these things. There's at least one over there.
anymore. I'm ready. Just in case. Okay, it tells the time. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, ew, I <laughs> just contorted his whole body. I was already here. It's raining again. Wait, I can't see. Where's more of these dogs? What's bad here? Get back to the train. Get over here. Um. You're alive. Well, yeah. Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Oh. 
Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Great, we're talking. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? huh? I'm sorry, <gasps> I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, set out for the port once you've rested. I'd really like to talk to that mysterious mechanic. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. <laughs> we all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. Want some tea? So, Katya, where are you uh, from? <laughs> the Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. What is that? Who could have known that fanatics were in control Where's our now? And they say this place used to be great. How do you hey. like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? There were 15 of us. I have a present for you here. All right. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? Mm. It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, mm. making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. change something that I can't. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, man. I need to get my cans. Alright, whatever. How do I... Alright, I gotta keep my guns. Cool. smoke. No smokes. So, Artyom, have you been to the port yet? No. Get going. Yermak is having a hard time dealing with this alone. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one. 
And I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. Thanks. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Eventually. Yeah, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. Well, I'm used to this place. Oh, the bastard jumped down. Got him. <laughs> Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We have been waiting for the occupying forces. Mm -hmm. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology is <laughs> badly with them. Run. Gotcha. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? Mm -hmm. It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? <laughs> no dice. Stefan's all over her with his rugged <laughs> I haven't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs>